Microsoft just shared the first batch of games supporting its new advanced shader delivery technology, a system designed to cut loading times and boost performance across Xbox and PC handhelds like the ROG Xbox Ally and ROG Xbox Ally X. Now, this is a technical update on the surface, but strategically, this could be one of Microsoft's most important steps towards unifying Xbox and Windows gaming for their next generation of consoles. Today, we'll break down what this feature actually does, why it matters for handhelds, and how it might shape the next generation of portable Xbox experiences. So this kind of went under the radar in, over at the Xbox update. This was uh, an October update at Xbox Wire, and a lot of news got, got talked about on this October update. There's updates here for the ROG Xbox Ally that, that are a big deal, but also show us the longer term picture of Xbox as a whole and particularly the next generation of Xbox. So we know that the next generation of Xbox is coming, it's being worked on, and it's gonna be a console that gives you the ability to also play PC games. And a lot of people right now where we're at with Windows can't see the future. Xbox has come out and basically said as much that the ROG Xbox Ally is a beta test for that next UI and how it will work. And we're starting to see how that's gonna work with the, uh, with the shaders here that dropped. Let me see if we can just go straight to it. So Microsoft released an initial, has released an initial list of games supporting the advanced shader delivery system. And here are those games. You can see there's quite a few of them here. You've got uh, Ark Survival Ascended. You've got Avowed Call of Duty. You've got Expedition 33. Uh, I'm just scrolling down here. Final Fantasy 16 is one that I'm very excited to jump into. Forza Horizon, Forza Motorsport, of course. All of the Xbox games, Gears Tactics. Uh, even Microsoft Flight Simulator is there. Resident Evil going down. Uh, the Outer Worlds 2, which just dropped. Ninja Gaiden 4, which just dropped and is crushing it. Sniper Elite, etc etc. So all these dropped and essentially they're pre-compiled and store shaders and this is going to reduce stutter and improving in improved frame pacing especially on first launches or less powerful devices which which is really exciting here. So what are shaders and why should you be concerned? In simple terms and I didn't know this before getting an ROG Xbox Ally X. I've heard of shaders before and I knew a little bit in concept, you know, in concept. Oh, they make your game run better. That's essentially what I knew. But basically, they're tiny programs that tell your GPU how to draw what you see on the screen. Things like lighting, shadows, reflections, special effects. Every time you load into a new game, or a new area in the game, or you see a visual effect on the screen, particle effects, et cetera, et cetera, your system has to compile those shaders and put them together. That together, They basically have to prepare the GPU and give it instructions for how everything should look. The problem is, when where this gets tricky is on Windows handhelds like the ROG Ally and Ally X, the Xbox Ally and Ally X, that compilation happens while you're playing. And that's why sometimes you'll get stutter. Uh, it causes micro stutters. It causes frame drops. It just makes your system run harder while you're playing the game. This new advanced shader delivery that Xbox has dropped here fixes that by pre-building and caching those shaders ahead of time. Meaning that the game can just run and it just loads it. So it's much smoother experience. You don't have to wait for the GPU to load everything. You don't have to wait for the, uh, you know, the CPU to catch up or anything. It's the difference between a smooth console like experience and one that feels jittery, one that you got to go in and, and edit, you know, resolution, etc. in the background. It's doing it all for you, basically. Uh, there's a lot of first party titles here. The rollout basically follows is, is kind of a first step on Xbox's continuing, not continuing because it's a first step. It's their first step to, to supporting this new UI and their handheld. And, and I think it's a big deal because this shows that Xbox, this shows the direction that Xbox is going with their future handheld or their future console and how you're, they're going to be able to merge PC and, and consoles together. This basically optimizes Windows like a console. It makes it it makes it so you just have to load up your game and your game just 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 loads up. Now it's gonna take a lot of work, and which is interesting because remember Sarah Bond last week talked about how the next generation is gonna be a curated experience. This is a part of that curation, I think. I think this is what she's talking about here. That yes, it is Windows running in the background, but we're curating these games so that when you load it up, it's a console. It's a console that fires up and just plays uh, exactly. It, it gives performance consistency across all of your devices, whether that's a handheld or a console. I think this is this is what 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 Xbox means when they talk about unifying 
they're unifying between a PC, a handheld, and a console. It's all going to be the same. This is part of that unification. This is part of that curated unification here. You're essentially Xbox is blurring the line between console and handheld platforms here. It's super, super cool. I think this also helps with developer efficiency. I think developers are going to learn from that. If if this is adopted widely, and it will be, let's be honest, it will be, devs will be able to rely on Microsoft's pipeline of games between their Xbox, their PC, and their handhelds, and they don't have to build separate optimizations for each platform. Xbox can basically, Microsoft can basically roll out these advanced shaders for them. You're seeing how they're going to be able to make Basically, what is people are calling a PC? Well, that's just a PC. Well, fun fact, all consoles are just PCs. But now they'll be able to take that PC experience and say, no, this it feels it should feel like a console. That's game changing. That's the reason I don't dive deep into PC gaming. I have a PC. I play I play PC games. I play MMOs on those. I play turn-based strategy games and real-time strategy games. But I'm not a PC gamer first. It's because I don't want to go in and have to tweak everything. I just don't. Like, it's it's my console is simple. I turn on and I play it. And we're getting that. I was able to do that and have been able to do that with Forza Horizon. I've been able to do that with Ninja Gaiden 4 now. Like, like I can just turn it on on my handheld and get that, that console simplicity experience while having the ability to also play PC games if I so desire. And in my mind, that's that's game changing. This video is sponsored by something that I actually helped build and I'm really excited to share it with you guys because I hit that wall myself and it's called the reset. There was a point where I realized that something was off in my life. I work from home, I play games, I make content, but I still feel and felt completely alone, surrounded by screens, but nobody's actually there. I don't interact with anybody. So I worked with a licensed therapist to figure out how to break that loop. I implemented those steps, I tested them, and from it came the reset toolkit. It's a free one-page guide that helps you get unstuck when life starts to lag mentally, physically, emotionally. It's not therapy. It's very practical. I did the work. It's helped me and I did that work so you don't have to. And when you download it, you'll also unlock the reset newsletter. It's a weekly dose of real tools and stories about building a healthier mindset, especially for people like us who live online all the time, especially for gamers or content creators like us, people who work from home. Grab it for free right now at theresetgg.com. That's theresetgg.com or hit the link below. Sign up for the newsletter because when life lags, Sometimes we need to hit reset. The thing here is, I was doing some reading up. I, I, the Steam Deck already has strong shader. It's basically doing the same thing. And this is Microsoft's answer to that. But the difference here, it's done natively within Microsoft's ecosystem, which I think is huge. And again, paints the picture for the future. I'm very excited. I'm more excited for the future now for Xbox than I've been in a long time. You can say, well, that's because you're an Xbox shill maybe, or I just see the direction they're going and the freedom that they're bringing to gamers and how consumer friendly this is. And if they can deliver by doing stuff like this, I think it's game game over. Couple questions. Do you guys think that stuff like this advanced shader delivery will finally make Windows handhelds feel as smooth as consoles? Let me know in the comments below. If not, let me know why not in the comments below. Now, not everything is gonna be, uh, you know, perfect, but the games that have this will I mean, I'm already experiencing it myself. I just fired it up and playing. It plays 60 frames per second, Ninja Gaiden 4, which is a pretty graphically intense game, Con all things considered. Plays amazing. Forza Horizon 5, Gears of War, same thing. Uh, it's playing really well. Uh, let me know. Let me know in the comments, though, why you why you think that this isn't the future. Uh, also, do you think this is Xbox laying the groundwork for their consoles and their future first-party Xbox handheld? Let me know in the comments. I do, obviously. I think it's pretty transparent at this point that that's exactly where where they're going and last but not least do you think developers are going to widespread embrace asd uh and do you think they do so quickly enough to make a difference i think yes as well if i'm a developer why would i not want my game to run optimally everywhere to provide a fantastic experience remember this is on windows windows is everywhere if you're playing on steam you're playing on windows everybody so that is i mean on, a, on pc right if you're playing on epic on pc you're playing on windows so I think it's a big deal. I think it's huge. Uh, let me know in the comments below where you agree with me, where you disagree with me. Don't forget, I'm X1 The Gamer. Hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel. We drop videos like this all the time. Have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye, bye-bye.